everyone welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i am here with a sneak peek unboxing from diamond art club thanks to diamond art club for sending this over this kit is coming out tomorrow which is saturday march 30th at 9 30 a.m pacific 12 30 p.m eastern diamond and ruby tier rewards members you do get a half an hour early access window and the kit that i have to share with you guys today is called books and nooks and it's by you may art this little thumbnail of an image is not going to give you any real sense for how amazing this artwork is we are going to get into this box and i'm going to get you a better look at this artwork we're going to see how this looks on the canvas which is a big one you guys 70 by 84 centimeters or 27.6 by 33.1 inches naturally this is going to have square shaped diamonds because that is going to get us a whole heck of a lot more detail with this particular painting diamond art club on their boxes they use this blue branding with their square drill diamond painting kits and then on the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint, as well as your kit contents. And then here's a QR code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club, I'm thinking of making your very first purchase. I have a 20% off discount code, coupon code that you're welcome to use. That is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Now that is an affiliate code. I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. Um, and so I may make a small commission on that. I don't want you to feel obligated to use it though. There are other discount codes out there, a few of which you're gonna see in this sneak peek video. But thank you so much in advance if you do choose to use my discount code. That always goes right back into my channel and making more and better content for you guys. So let's take a look at what was included. First, we have our toolkit. Here are the contents of your toolkit. And Diamond Art Club has been hinting at some fun upgrades and things to come. And I am so curious to see what those are going to be. But for the moment, you guys, these toolkits I find to be one of the most comprehensive and solid toolkits that is on the market. You're gonna have a pen and squishy, the color on those will vary, and then you'll get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers that you can pop in the end of your pen. If you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, they send a four and a seven placer with your toolkit. We have some wax for your pen. Oh. And there's a thin plastic film on here. You guys, you want to peel back to try to, uh, before you try to load up your pen. If you didn't see today, the day that I'm filming this video, Friday, uh, Thursday rather, Diamond Art Club also just released some putty on their website, which I am so excited to try out and see. Um, anyway, back to the, what's included in your toolkit here. We have a tray and there is a tray stopper here that you can slide right back in there to help um, stop the diamonds from sliding out. We have a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in there. Um, we have some tweezers, which do keep that cover on. It is a little, they're a little bit sharp, not bad, but you know. Um, you also have a roll of washi tape. The print on this is gonna vary. And I have a video linked in the description box below that's gonna demo the different ways that I use washi tape when it comes to my diamond painting. It's a really handy tool, I feel like. You're also gonna get a cover minder. There's magnets on the back. You can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting if you like. However, this kit is likely going to have um, the relatively new perforated plastic cover that is kind of going to make that cover minder unnecessary if you choose to use the perforations. But I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean once we get to it. We're almost there. <laughs> but first, here is this smaller sticker that Diamond Art Club includes. It, I love that it has the original artwork as well as um, the title and the artist, of course, and the some of the stats as well. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on my diamond painting. And uh, some people will use it on the side of the box to help organize their stash or you could find something else crafty and creative to do with it. Everything else is gonna be included in this bag and I am beyond excited to get a look at this canvas. I have a hunch, I don't know, sometimes my hunches are really off, but I have a hunch that this artwork is going to be pretty darn popular. It's Yume Art, who's a really popular artist with Diamond Art Club as it is, but then this kind of bookish artwork tends to just, oh my gosh, yeah, no. People love it. <laughs> I am people. It's me. I am people. Oh my gosh. I am so happy that they were able to turn this one into a diamond painting. Do you see this painting? Okay, I'm going to kind of pull you down, pull the canvas down so you can see the different parts of it. Hopefully with a minimal glare. Wow. Okay, this is fantastic. 
Look at the details that they have managed to get in here. Um, so if you notice your canvas is wanting to curl back in on itself like this, uh, you can roll the, back, the canvas back the opposite direction. This is safe to do with Diamond Art Club's kits. Uh, and that is gonna help it lay flat a little bit more quickly. And you guys, since obviously I wasn't able to quite fit this entire canvas and frame for you guys, that is a lot of it, but still not all of it. Take a look at the screen. I will pop up a picture of the whole canvas for you so you can see how it's looking. Ah, oh, this looks incredible. I'm, I was not expecting to be quite this excited. I love this kit so much. Holy cow. Holy cow. I, wow. Okay, this looks so good. <laughs> All right, let me show you. Um, okay, we have our diamonds, which we're gonna look at these more closely in a little bit. And then also included, we have this pamphlet. There's some helpful info in here, including, once again, what's included in your kit. A beginner video, which I also have, have done a diamond painting for beginners video that you'll find linked below in the description box, along with some other helpful links and tutorials. Here is a link to their Facebook group, their VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you've made your first purchase. Just make sure your name on Facebook matches your name on the Diamond Art Club website, like with your account. Otherwise, just contact their customer support and they can like get you added to the group. That's how they match it up to make sure that you're, you know, supposed to be in there. Here's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you and then some tips and tricks here's another discount code and here are QR codes for the mobile app which you get 20% off your first purchase through the app so you can you know, be strategic about your discount codes here you guys <laughs> um, here we have a larger sticker sheet the title is books and nooks by you may are to spark a spot to write your start and end date I'm just so excited to show you guys this original artwork. Now, I am so happy that they did decide to make this into a diamond painting. Um, and I, I just, when I saw this artwork originally, I thought, oh, is that really gonna make the cut because it has so many details? But when I was unrolling the canvas, you guys, like, okay, so look at the original artwork and then at the canvas, like, dang, okay, yes, I, I love it. Um, I'm loving all the different like elements and aspects. I love the little cardinals, the one that's on top of her head. I love like the moon and stars in the background. And of course, all of the books and the nooks. <laughs> so um, this is gonna have square shaped diamonds like I mentioned, and it's gonna be 70 by 84 centimeters. I think this is about the largest that Diamond Art Club can go with their canvases as far as um, at least for one side. I think that the shortest side of the canvas of the two of the two measurements, like in this case, which is 70, I think that the shortest side, that's the biggest that they can go or around that mark is about the biggest that they can go and still fit, you know, I guess in their boxes and stuff. That's just what I've kind of observed over time, it seems like. Anyway, back to this, we do have some pre-cut sticker labels for you, which I like to use these on my storage containers after I put the diamonds into um, my storage container of choice, which is the Elizabeth Ward storage system. Nice structured containers. Um, these are pre-cut for you, which makes the process of kitting up go really quickly. Um, the number in the right hand column, you guys, is going to be, it says color code. It comes from the DMC color code system, which is the DMC brand of floss. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system. In Diamond Art Club's case, there are a couple of exceptions I just want to note. So first, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of drill called an AB. And we'll talk more about those in a little bit, but we're going to have three AB colors in this kit. And then if you look at the end of the color list, you'll see a couple of things I wanna point out here. So first, you'll sometimes see codes that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have three codes with the letter Z. These are gonna be fairy dust colors. And um, again, I'll tell you more about those and show you those in a little bit. Also, while these are not special drills, like special drill types, these are unique to Diamond Art Club. Colors in the 6000s range. These are colors that Diamond Art Club has created because they make all their diamonds in house and they can actually do their own color mixes as well. They've noticed some gaps in the DMC color code system and what is offered and they've gone, let's fill in those gaps so that we can make the artwork um, be as closely translated into diamond painting form as possible. So yeah, while those aren't special drill colors, like they're not, you know, fairy dust or ABs, they're still, you know, something I wanted to point out. You won't see those in other companies uh, kits. Let me now take you on a little tour of this canvas. So we do have their branding up here at the top. Do it makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas, you can see there's some finishing and some scalloped edges, so you shouldn't have to worry about fraying on your canvas. And then the back is really plush and soft. It is a 
a material that I feel like lays flat really well, holds diamonds really well, and is just enjoyable to work on. It's sturdy and malleable. They also have poured glue on their canvases under their plastic cover, and the glue is very sticky. The clear plastic cover, this does have a recently launched feature of theirs, which is the perforations, which you can kind of see where the light's catching it there, the perforated lines. Don't mind my cat just gnawing away in the background. Um, the full size perforated sections are, you can kind of see down here, four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters ish and you can choose to ignore them if you like which honestly i've done a kit with these perforated covers and i chose to just use my washi tape method like i usually do because i like to pick my section size but this kind of just makes it a lot easier for those of you that really don't like having to cut in your canvas or pick your section sizes if you want to kind of tear at the section um you just kind of give it a tug and it'll split right there on the perforation. So it is a nice feature. I do like the Diamond Art Club um, is offering it for, um, for those of you that like to use that kind of thing. So we also have a color list up here at the top left and we have the same color list over here at the bottom right with all uh, 55 of our colors. And then down here at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail of the original artwork, the title, Books Nooks, and the size 70 by 84 centimeters and copyright. So this piece is legally licensed from Yume Art. That means that Yume Art has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. This is the case with all of Diamond Art Club's kits. They are all above board in terms of licensing and theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world so I'm always going to choose to support um, shops that support artists. Here we have their socials that's where you can stay up to date with their new releases and then here's yet another discount code and here's a little bit of information about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit you're covered under that lifetime warranty. That includes if you run out of a drill color or have any trouble with the kit. You can see all the details, I think, on the website and contact customer support if you do need to make use of that warranty. There's our little cardinal. All these little details, you guys. Now, you will notice that the background in particular has a lot of what we call color blocking. It's a lot of a solid color background. Um, color blocking is when you have a lot of the same color in a small area. You can use a multi-placer if you want to help that go a little more quickly. I have a video on multi-placing for perfectionists if you want to get some tips on how to multi-place and hopefully multi-place big sections like that and still make it look nicely evenly spaced. Um, by contrast, there is going to be a good amount of confetti down here in the details of the, of the house and the books and the nooks. And confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area, maybe kind of in here. We might have some more up towards the top, I'll show you. Areas like that tend to take a little bit longer because you might be using a single placer and have that color, or changing out the color in your tray more often, rather. Kind of in her face, and some of these books back here is maybe more what I'd call confetti. Um, but the nice payoff with confetti is that you tend to get more more detail and some you know, better color blending and shading. But yes, this background, lots and lots of color blocking. Now, please don't be intimidated by large sections of light colored background. It absolutely can be done and have it still look really nice and even. If you wanna see an example, I actually completed a kit by this artist from Diamond Art Club called My Inner Sanctuary. It's the, from the glass instrument series, it's the glass piano. and. There's quite a bit of a solid light color background um, in it, maybe even more than this kit has, honestly. And it was actually with Diamond Art Club's drill field and their really nice drill quality. Um, it sat together really well and it looked very even and neat. So please, 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 if you love this artwork, but you're hesitant because of the light background and having to do all that color blocking with those light colors, please don't let that deter you. You can totally uh, do it. And Diamond Art Club's quality, I feel like will help with that looking nice when it's done. That's just my own personal experience with it because I was a little wary of it with, or worried about it at least with um, that glass piano piece. I'm just gonna do a quick measurement, make sure we're true to size. I am, <laughs> Apparently struggling with my measuring tape at the moment. Um, we are at about 84 and a half centimeters. Um, we're listed as 84, so I might have just cut a little off of that measuring tape. Uh, let's go this way though. And we are at about 70 on the nose. So I'm gonna call that true to size. So that's a look at our canvas and some of the elements there. Now I'm gonna get the diamonds and we are going to take a look at these colors together. 
There is a sticker on here that's gonna tell you what kit these go with in case you store them separate from the cannabis outside the box they came in. And I'm gonna unpack this and have a whole lot of a fun, <laughs> a fun time attempting to pack it back up later. Um, yeah. <laughs> these, these big canvases, big packs of drills, but totally worth it. Look at those bright greens against that light, light background color. So let's see. Diamond Art Club does print the DMC code on these bags. They've even somewhat recently added, oh, hold on a second. Here's one of our 6,000 range colors. So apparently the shade of brown did not quite exist in the DMC color code system. So Diamond Art Club added it. Um, anyway, I was saying Diamond Art Club actually added uh, dashes on underline underneath these. So you know which way is right side up. There are some DMC codes that if you flip them upside down, it makes another DMC code that does exist. So just a little thing to make it a little... Um, easier to make sure you've got the right DMC color. Look at that Kelly green. Oh, I love that. Yeah, tons of shades of green, of course, in the leaves, I'm sure. Uh, this strand, is this all one color? 37.56, that's gotta be the background color. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bags of 37.56 for our background color. And then, oh, here's our first special drill color, Z913. This is a fairy dust color. And if you take a look, these diamonds have a really fine glitter coating on the top. It is a subtle effect. It's gonna have kind of a shimmery effect. And I love fairy dust diamonds. They are my favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club uh, makes. And with this pretty kind of light Kelly green um, fairy dust color. And yes, we are gonna go together through the canvas and I'll point out where you can find these special drills after we're done looking at all these colors. Um, here's our second fairy dust color. It's another shade of green. This one is a little bit more towards like an olive green color. Zoom you in again. It always shows up better when I zoom you in for fairy dust colors. There we go. That shimmer. I love it. So good. So yeah, here's our two. You can see kind of a color difference there. couple stragglers in, in this bag. That's normal. That happens. Here's another brown in the 6,000s range. Um, I find the Diamond Art Club's diamonds are, especially their squares, are pretty consistent in terms of like the size and the shape. I don't tend to have too much trash in them. Sometimes in the 310, like the dark color diamonds, I do, but I find their drill quality to be pretty, pretty top notch for what's on the market for sure. Here's our first AB color, 133, and AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights and have a much more bold and striking coating on the top than the Fairy Dust Diamonds did. Um, it is reflecting a lot of kind of like almost rainbowy colors, and it's really gonna draw your eye to and highlight the areas that it's been charted on the canvas. So we have this really kind of true orange color, 133. Some reds and blues, including a red AB. That's our second AB. Um, okay, yeah. So um, this one is kind of a cherry red AB, 110. And then our last AB, 131, is a lighter orange color. So we just have like these orange and red ABs. So here's the first AB we looked at. Here's the third, which is this lighter orange, 131. Then we have the red as well. So. I can't wait to see where those are gonna go. Here is, is this our last fairy dust? I think it is, yes, so Z743. This is a, it's a pale yellow kind of color, almost a pale ivory beige color. Small bag of that one. And then we just have this, this last strand just has three bags in it. <laughs> There you go. I'm seeing it looks like a little bit of static in this one. If you run into static, my my favorite solution for that is to cut up a dryer sheet into squares and kind of tuck the squares in those bags before I try to pour them in, into my storage containers. Um, you can also kind of 
um, breathe into the bags or your storage containers with the kind of breath that you would use if you were trying to fog up a window. Uh, There's just a couple of ideas for how to deal with uh, static in your diamonds. Let's start at the bottom. And remember, we have those, we have three ABs and three fairy dust. We have two shades of green fairy dust and a pale yellow fairy dust. And then we have the two shades of orange AB and the red AB. So uh, down here, we have the lighter orange AB. Right here, it's that lighter orange you're seeing. And then it's here as well. In the plant leaves, let's see. I'm just assuming it's going to be in some of these plant leaves, but it's, it's not in this one. Um, let's see, that was the, is that the darker of the two? Now I have to double check that because the symbols aren't necessarily quite as distinct. 9.89. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the more olive green fairy dust color. Um, in camera, it's it's right here. It's not the dark. It's not the lightest green. It's the next lightest green that you're seeing in camera. It's throughout some of these plants. It's on these plant leaves right here. It's the lightest green you see, and then the lightest green that you see in these plant leaves. That is the kind of light olive green fairy dust color. Um, the stars, the twinkles that you see here, that is a mix of the pale yellow fairy dust as well as the lightest orange AB color. The cardinal does not have any ABs in it. I thought it might, but it does not. Um, the light orange AB is in these kind of hanging lantern stars. And then in this plant, we have the light Kelly green fairy dust color. And in this plant, it is the lightest green that you're seeing is that kind of Kelly green um, fairy dust color, as well as up here, that light green. Then we have, um, which one was the red and which one was the dark orange? Okay, 110 was the red, perfect, that's number one. Okay, so the dark orange AB is found in this hanging lamp as well as these hanging lamps and uh, these hanging lamps as well. It's kind of highlighting through those as well as here. Um, and then I have not yet seen the, oh, there it is, there it is. Uh, the kind of more cherry red AB color is doing a little bit of highlighting on the top of this roof. It's just in these areas. And then in here we have some of the dark orange AB. Um, not on this roof, okay. As we keep moving on up, um, the light green that you see in these plant leaves, the light green, the chunks of it you see, that is the light fairy dust olive green, light olive green fairy dust in here. And there's a little bit of the light Kelly green fairy dust right here. So you kind of see those two shades of green. Um, up here we have the light uh, Kelly green fairy dust. In the center of this flower, we have a couple of the orange AB, which is cute. And then these hanging stars or hanging lights have the orange AB in them. I'm trying to make sure I don't, don't mix up these colors too much as I'm talking about them. Oh, pretty, oh, that's gorgeous. These big flowers here and here are all outlined in that cherry red, that light cherry red AB color. That's gorgeous. And then there's a little bit of the orange AB in the center of, of this flower and in the center of this hanging star or lamp. The moon has orange, light orange AB right here and then a bunch of that pale yellow, kind of pale beige um, ivory fairy dust color in here. And that, that ivory fairy dust is in the center of these stars. And then we have some of the light orange AB right here and here. Um, let me just check and see. Okay, we have some of the um, pale Kelly green fairy dust is the lightest green you see on the leaves of this plant. That's so interesting that some of the plants get the light olive green fairy dust and some of the plant leaves get the light Kelly green fairy dust. So it's just, I like the kind of subtlety and the shading there and the color choices. Um, though right here, we do get both fairy dust colors, both green fairy dust colors right next to each other in these leaves, that's fun. And then all the light green you see in these leaves up here is otherwise the light Kelly green fairy dust color as well as up here. The bright spots on the roof tiles here is the, um, bright red AB color you'll find throughout there and a little bit on these roof tiles as well. Okay, I think that actually, I think we about covered all about all of them with the exception of, okay, the edge of her book right here, that is, there's two orange fairy dust right here. The Cardinal has some of the um, red AB in it. 
Nope. The the dark orange AB. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I have to walk this back. I have to walk this back on the cardinal and the roof tiles. Okay, the cardinal, dark orange ABs, and then those roof tiles I was pointing out to you, I incorrectly said had the red ABs. No, it's a dark orange. So, um, and then sprinkle kind of around her face, like in her hair, there's a little sprinkling of the cherry red AB. Okay. Sorry for the confusion there, you guys. Um, so love it. I really, really, really like that special drill placement. I like that it's going to give a little bit of extra life to the plant leaves throughout without being too overpowering. I think the fairy dust is a great choice. I was very happy to see like those, those red ABs surrounding these flowers. I think that's going to be gorgeous. And of course, whenever we have like celestial things like moons and stars, those have got to have special drills. They just, it's, I don't make the rules. They do. <laughs> but this is Books and Nooks by Yume Art and Diamond Art Club. It's one of their new releases this week. Just give you a really quick recap. This is bigger at 70 by 84 centimeters. However, I really don't think you should let the size deter you because we do have quite a lot of color blocking in this background. And so that's going to go quickly. And even in here, like the books and a lot of the kind of like um, details have some kind of like linear color blocking that I think is going to actually make some of those areas go quickly as well. Um, not that you want to rush through a diamond painting, but just for those of you that maybe shy away from large diamond paintings, I feel like this shouldn't feel as large to you um, as it might look at first glance. So I also just really want to enable you because you may art looks so good the way the Diamond Art Club does it. And I think that this is just going to be an incredibly beautiful piece. Um, there was a piece that they released, I think was it Black Friday, that was called Under the Stairs by this artist and had kind of a similar vibe. This one doesn't, I feel like, have the same like fan art bent to it, but it um, it has just the same kind of feel to it. And I would be very curious to see if this one ends up being popular. I'm really, really happy that it's it's going to be in my stash. And as always, I feel very tempted to go ahead and get up this, my new, my, my sneak peek right away. But this one, no, I really do. I'm like, Ooh, that nut background will go quick. And like, imagine seeing all those pretty books come to life. Uh, but we'll just, we'll have to see. I'm sure that someone is going to work on it pretty quickly. So join the VIP group. If you want to see people are pretty good about uh, posting progress pictures of um, new releases and stuff in there when they do come out. So um, this kit, along with the other new releases, they're coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 30th. Man, dates. Um, the release time is 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Just a reminder that if you're in that diamond or ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. You should either get like a text or an email, or if you're logged into your account on the Diamond Art Club website at that early release time, click over to the new arrivals section and they should show up for you there without needing to have to wait for an email. So... You guys let me know what you think below. Is this on your shopping list for the weekend or are you eyeing any of the other new releases? Be sure to check out the other sneak peeks that my fellow content creators have put out. Thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending this out. I hope that this was helpful so that you can make a decision about your shopping and or wish list. Um, and I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are below. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with lots more diamond painting content from me. I tried to put out a wide variety of videos and would really love to have you here. So hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.